Dear students, welcome to my new class. I am Roxana Parvin, lecturer, Department of Civil Engineering, Wall University of Bangladesh. Today, I will give you the lecture on subject lateral loaded and machine foundations, having course code C1113. This subject belongs to geotechnical engineering, a file containing course profile based on outcome based education (OB) system, has been attached in topic one. From where you can find the lecture plan as well as course description, objectives, and learning outcomes. Rational. Rational means fundamental principles. This course is mainly designed for geotechnical engineers, which is one of the branch of civil engineering division. The subject comprises practical knowledge about lateral loaded structures, such as retaining wall. Sheet pile, cations, coffer dams, slurry tense wall, dewatering, liquefaction, and machine foundation. So, we can say the main theme of the course is to design and analyze laterally loaded structures and foundation subjected to machine equipment. Outcomes At the end of this course, you students will be able to design laterally loaded structures and machine foundations and execute dewatering system. Now we will discuss what is lateral loaded structures and machine foundation. Firstly, lateral loaded structures are those structures which supports from lateral direction such as coffer dams, retaining wall, sheet pile, cations. Secondly, machine foundation are special type of foundations required for machines machine tools and heavy equipment which have wide of speeds, loads and operating conditions. These foundations are designed considering the shocks and vibrations resulting from operation of machines. Machine generally vibrates when they are in operation which creates dynamic loads and to resist all these dynamic loads machine foundation is needed. These are the figures of machine foundation and lateral loaded structure. What is coffer dam? Coffer dams are temporary structures that are built to keep the water and soil away from the execution site. This enables construction to be carried out on the safe as well as on dry surfaces. So we can say the main function of coffer dam is to support water and soil. Types of coffer dams. There are various types of coffer dams are in use. The most common types are as follows. Arden coffer dam, Rockfield coffer dam, Timber creep coffer dam, Breast coffer dam, cellular coffer dam. This figure shows an earthen coffer dam and its cross section. To protect water passing from one side to another, it is used. If soil type is so permeable, a steel pile may be used to protect shippage. Some characteristics of earthen coffer dam are suitable for rivers or streams having shallow depth of water about 120 to 150 cm with low velocity of flow. It is the simplest type of coffer dam. Freeboard 60 to 90 cm. Suitable side slope should be provided. It depends on soil availability and site conditions should not be used in sensitive areas. For dry conditions, clay embankment provided and for wet condition, sand materials are suitable. Figure shows a rock fill copper dam and its cross section. Generally, its construction process is same as earthen copper dam. But it is stronger than earthen coffer dam. 
some characteristics of rockfield copper dam are the construction of rockfield copper dams is similar to artfield copper dams it can be constructed with steeper slopes as rock materials are used water depth 3 meter which is more than earthen copper dam in case of high heads of water this can be achieved by a clay or concrete core wall which make the dam more strong impervious layer provided for reducing entry of seepage if the soil is much permeable to prevent seepage sheet pile or concrete core wall are used figure shows a timber creep copper dam the fence shown in the figure are made by timber in this type of copper dam generally they are prepared outside and placed in site by transporting them some characteristics of timber creep copper dam are it consists of timber creeps made from logs of wood constructed on land and floated into place hollow space thus formed are then filled with rock or gravel depth of water 10 to 20 meter and it is much more than previous to used for wide excavation and rocky river bottoms purpose to use copper dam structure copper dam can be used for the purpose stated below to retain soil and water can be used as either temporary or permanent where needed main purpose is to provide dry working area for workers it is used when the foundation of piers and abutments of a bridge dams locks etc are to be constructed sometimes it is also provided to store water temporarily especially for agriculture purpose copper dams can be used in all the sectors as explained below geotechnical engineering underground car parking foundation basement construction etc transport engineering bridge pier support walls tunnel work etc water engineering weirs culverts flood protection walls scour protection walls securing embankment etc now what is breast copper dam when in copper dam sheet or bracing systems are used to support the soil or water then it is called breast copper dam it is mostly used in all construction works figure shows copper dams which provided supports to protect water and soil what are the uses of breast copper dam its uses range from supports for shallow trench excavations to bracing systems for multi level basement construction where adjacent ground must be protected from collapse or settlement damages where ground need to be protected it must be used then this is almost invariably the case when excavation is required in urban areas and in localities where the adjacent ground need to be protected the excavation is generally made with sloping sites without the use of such cover dams basically in rural areas where there is no other heavy structures around the sites this type is used this figure shows the components of breast cover dam now components of a breast cover dam lagging horizontal timber planks placed by hand as the excavation proceeds sheet piling maybe timber concrete or steel 
and is installed vertically by driving which generally supports soil laterally shoulder beams it is used only when timber is used wells it transfers reactions from lagging to starts starts compression member for carrying the reactions from one side to the other side of the excavation and that is the end of our today's lecture thank you everyone